In fact, a few of you have this printer on your table. Uh, and this is really what we are going to do. So we are starting now. We will talk about really getting everybody to understand. I know most of you already know this, but for, uh, for all of us to be on the same page, we will spend a little bit of time talking about what exactly is digital transformation. So when we say that, what does it really mean? So we'll see some videos, some kind of a thing, and then we will talk about a methodology that I want to get you uh, introduced to. It's called, uh, you know, large-scale interactive process. How many of you have gone through the large-scale interactive process? I understand many of you have. Oh, super. So you already have a group which is trained in the methodology. Again, this is just to get everybody on the same page. Um, as you know that, you know, in this methodology, it talks about first getting your anxieties, your dissatisfaction, your uh, concerns, all of it, putting it on the table. Um, after that, you talk about the vision. What is it that you really want to uh, make of the future? And in your case, of course, you do have a vision for idea. You know, you, there's already something which is in place. So we'll talk about how do we make this vision happen? What are some of the first steps that we are going to take? And then we'll look at some of these, review of these ideas for success. You know, we'll say that if you take it by uh, SBU, what does it turn out to be? And eventually we'll do a little bit of a deep dive in terms of uh, what is culture change? You know, how does that happen? And is there a simple method of driving change in large organizations? So, uh, and then we'll end with the 60, 90 day commitments. Uh, we'll uh, end at 5.30. So that's really the nature of the uh, day as it we planned it out. Um, I want to really start first with uh, just a little sort of a video that I want to... Two million years ago, our earliest ancestors created the world's first tool by chiseling one rock against another until all that was left was a flint spearhead. This method, starting with a block of material and chiseling away particles, is known as subtractive manufacturing. Fast forward 2 million years, and we now have additive manufacturing, or 3D printing, which is going from deceptive to disruptive growth at this very moment. Through the process of 3D printing, where material is added layer by layer to build any three-dimensional object you want, literally from the bottom up. With 3D printing, you can 3D print a solid block of materials, or a block with your name written on it, and a thousand moving parts in the same amount of time. Complexity and personalization come for free. Soon, instead of ordering, say, a new iPhone case off Amazon and waiting 24 hours for overnight delivery, you can just download a file and 3D print it on your desk. This technology has the potential to disrupt a $10 trillion global manufacturing industry and create a new generation of entrepreneurs. 3D printers, whose parts are driven by computers, are part of the larger exponential technology category of robots, which are becoming more intelligent, more versatile, and capable of doing 